Did anyone cover indexing for you? Do you know what that does? I know that it's important doing like when you want to send out a case but have like working models for yourself. Right. So. It's basically how how does this fit back? Yeah. And the way to do that. Um, some people index it by just gouging this deep this much in an X fashion. But Dr. Nemo prefers that we see your indexes on the edge. Because if I see this mounted like this, even though you have a gouge in there, I'm going to say it's not indexed. Yeah, we were taught to just dig yeah, in the top. Digging. That's okay. how we were taught. So visually, as someone checking your QA later, I'm going to send it back saying, please index. Period. So the rule is, if you index, do something on the side that I can see. And I want it visible, not just a little thin, shallow gouge. Dr. Nemo has a PDF file, I think. He wants it to look like this. That deep, that big, triangular in the edge. So that there's really no doubt. Because if this was circular, it can still roll around, especially if it's just one and we just go like that. So there's reason for the shape. Personally, this can tip. I like this, but I don't mind if, as long as it's prominent, if it's that way and there's four parts, I'm good to go. You're good to go. And I would put Vaseline on the gouge and probably a nickel-sized dab in the middle. So the only stone adhering will be the ones that are dry, okay? And then once I hit it with a knife, it'll split up separately, quickly. Okay, so that's one something to think about when you're working. 